What is going on guys, my name is Dimitri and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna tell you about what two monitor setups are, dual monitor setups, you may have heard of them before and exactly what they can do for you, what are the positives, negatives, and what options do you have so that you can upgrade your workspace and try to be more productive with them. So first and foremost, pretty simple and easy answer to what a dual monitor setup is, is having two monitors set up behind me like that. There are going to be some other configurations I'm gonna talk about real quick, but either having two monitors like that that are connected to your computer or having a laptop accompanied by a single monitor since the laptop is kind of a second monitor, it can be considered a two or dual monitor setup. For most people, when they have a dual monitor setup, they'll have something like this where they'll have one next to each other. Actually, this is a little bit of a different side-by-side -side dual monitor setup. I have no stands outside of the one that came with the monitors and I also have two different size monitors. A lot of people like having the exact same size monitors next to each other which works well for them. Personally I like having the smaller one for a little bit of a more reference size thing rather than the whole full-fledged monitor so that it's a little bit more specific and I know exactly what I'm using it for. For most people that's the kind of thing they have. They have two of the exact same monitor next to each other and for some they actually have a monitor that's called a stack setup. They have one on top of the other and it usually looks, I think it actually looks pretty cool. I don't know how practical it is for a lot of productivity purposes. I think there are some things that they can be used for as well as some things that they don't work so well for. And the last setup I can talk about is how the horizontal layout that you see behind me is not always the case for what people like to use their monitors for. Some people like to have a second large monitor in a vertical landscape, so facing up and down, kind of how you use your phone. And they'll actually use that if they're a coder or somebody who wants to have like a Slack message open during their work hours. And it actually works really well to scroll through those kind of things, spreadsheets as well in some cases. And it helps people be more productive by seeing that longer screen real estate up and down because that's just better for some programs. So now that you know what different kinds of monitor setups that you can have, if you have dual monitor setups, I'm going to talk to you guys about what the benefits behind having a dual monitor setup can be for you. First and foremost, you obviously get more screen real estate and more screen real estate means more room for you to be able to reference other things. So for me personally, as a creative, I know that when I have that second screen up, I can do a lot of things quicker rather than having to open up things in the background and then constantly go and alt tab and go back and forth with what I need to. Personally, I think it's better for creatives than a lot of other people. So when I have my video sessions going and I am editing things, it's really great to have something to the side to be able to see my video editing, see my timeline, but also have files open, get things downloaded like stock B-roll, different types of music that I want to get going, and I can have all those processes on the smaller monitor on the right while still having my main workstation be that main monitor behind me in the center. Also for students, I honestly think dual monitor setups might be a necessity at this point because if you are going to be in class, I think it makes a lot of sense to have the one screen for the Zoom call and the one screen for notes as well as looking at the material that you are going to be referencing. Considering most schools that I've seen are still online or going to have online options for the future, I think that they can benefit you at least for the next few months before things open up back again. And I personally think that you guys are going to get the most benefit out of it now, as well as in the future, once you get a habit of using those two monitors, you're gonna be like, oh, I don't, I don't know, I didn't use this for homework the whole time. Because in my opinion, once I got a second monitor, I was able to do a lot of referencing of notes while writing papers, a lot of referencing of articles while I was writing forum posts for different discussions that I was gonna have in class. And I would always be able to have that side reference that could make my processes quicker than if when I just used a laptop to work on my homework. If you're someone who plays video games, I I will recommend a dual monitor setup as well because obviously if you're playing the game, it's kind of nice to have Discord to the side as well. I'm aware that some people who watch my videos probably still play video games and that is just a benefit for it. So I'll throw that in there for people who, when they want to have fun and get some video games played, I, I truly think that that is actually one of the main benefits of it for that demographic. So I won't act like it's not there. Now, what are some of the drawbacks of having a two monitor setup? First and foremost, it costs more money. So when I bought this, this monitor 
Um, the first time, actually, it's kind of like a, it's a pretty expensive monitor now. It's the HP Black Onyx 27 inch version. I think it's a few hundred dollars now. I was lucky enough to buy it at about $150 when I did. And then the one to the left of me actually is about the same price because it's, it wasn't exactly uh, cheap. It wasn't a cheap monitor. It has good uh, IPS display. It also is full HD and has pretty good contrast ratios, which I was pretty happy with and that's important for me. I was kind of surprised that they cost around the same amount, but as you can tell, I bought a second one. It cost me around $300 total and that's not exactly the greatest thing in the world. I did have a second hand monitor I used for a while, which people probably noticed in my videos uh, whenever my desk was shown and that was pretty great. I got the second one for free. So if you do get a second monitor and one of your fears is having more cost, honestly, utilize your laptop or utilize something along the lines of something second hand you can get that's cheap. Once you get two really nice monitors, I will admit that I never want to go back to something like I had before and the secondhand stuff wasn't great in comparison. However, I pushed off doing that for like a year and a half. So you can probably manage with a decent monitor or a quality monitor and then one that's kind of secondhand and not that great. The second thing is it does take up more desk space. So if you're going to have a dual monitor setup, you need a larger desk than maybe most people have. I think this is like a 50 inch desk or something along those lines. So when I first got the second monitor, I was like, all right, I need to make sure that there's enough room for it. And once I found out that it was going to be enough room, it definitely made it easier on my mental state as well as the fact that I did prepare and buy a uh, pretty large desk in comparison to most so that I knew I could always upgrade that smaller secondhand monitor that I had had before. One of the other drawbacks of having a second monitor is that it can cause a lack of focus and cause you to have too many tabs open on your computer, which can cause some clutter, which obviously as I'm a minimalist, I believe in mental clarity via the lack of things and actually having too much open on your computer at once is probably something that goes against minimalism principles and would inherently cause you to be having a more cluttered mind. Due to that reason, I do recommend that if you're going to have a dual monitor setup, you still stay intentional with the things that you do so that you do not have to deal with all of the day-to-day -day things coming up on one side and then your main work coming up on the other side and then you just kind of have 20, 30 things going on your computer if it's built to have enough RAM to do that and the next thing you know, you're like, I don't even remember why half of these are open. I gotta make sure that I get more into closing out things when I finish them or else when you have that much screen real estate, you will fill it up. So the verdict for whether you should have a dual monitor setup or not, in my opinion, is it's an absolute yes. I mean, I'm a little biased in the fact that I've loved it since I've gotten it. I found myself becoming much more productive in the time that I got two monitors. It may be convenient considering when I switched my lifestyle as well. However, I will say from the majority of people that I've talked to, once they get a second monitor, they just go, oh my God, that's such a great setup. I really enjoy it. A lot of people don't downsize after they get to, they just get acclimated to it and they enjoy it more. I personally think that it's a great addition for creatives. And if you are a creative, it's almost a necessity. Like if you don't have two monitors as a creative, I'm kind of surprised. I don't think it's, impossible to be a creative. Obviously you can edit videos on the go and do those sort of things. However, I will say it's nearly impossible to have as efficient of a workflow when you want to and when you need to because when you have that dual monitor set up, you have the special mouse that helps you edit quicker or take some photo and edit it quicker in, in Photoshop or you're going through some audio file that you need to work on. Having the dual monitor set up is just amazing. To have the secondary pieces of material or the folders that you can quickly drag onto the screen rather than having to alt tab, open up the folder again and keep having to drag it over. It's, it's just completely easier if you're going to be making videos. Now, if you don't want two monitors, I will recommend that you at least get a large single one. So an ultra wide monitor may cost a lot of money. However, if you don't want two monitors, I understand they do take up more screen real estate. Having a large ultra wide monitor can save some desk space while also having a lot of screen real estate, which can suffice for you. Personally, I like having that secondary monitor because it's more of a reference point from the main thing. As you notice that being at an angle is different than the direct one because I truly think that kind of helps me more because if I had two of the same one, it'd mess me up in some cases and an ultra wide may do the same for some. So beware that if you have an ultra wide, it is going to be a different viewing experience as the ratio is a little bit different from 16 to by nine. I think it's around 21 by nine. And overall, 
An ultra wide monitor will do a lot of the same things that two monitors will do, just a little bit different. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you checking this video out and hopefully you guys can find some monitors that can help your productivity increase. I will put the links to the monitors I have in the description. I think they're great monitors. And if you have any questions besides that, please leave them down in the comment section down below. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.